Ain't this what they been waiting for? You ready? Some way, somehow, when it counts, they will let you down. Accident waiting to happen, it will happen. Interception of sex! Something will go wrong. Yo, you better recognize there's a black cat running around your franchise. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Missy Miss Cool Cat Kind of YouTube. Representing the birds. Now you're probably asking yourself, Demir, why are you wearing your Dallas Suck shirt? Because they do suck 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I'm loving the war. The war between cowboy fans. You got cowboy fans fighting against each other on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Can't decide and say, should we pay that 40? Should we not pay that? It's like watching a movie. <sighs> Happy days are here again. There's a war going on in your own fan base, boys for life. Jara Johnson, Old Cass, JJ Thriller, Cowboys on Corn, all you disgusting, nose eating, get on my damn nerve, Cowboy fans. And the, and the worst part is, y'all don't even see it. Y'all don't even see it. Jerry Jones is stirring the pot and y'all eating it up like a bunch of rats. Y'all arguing with each other like, should we pay Dak? Should we not pay Dak? Should we pay Zeke? Should we not pay Zeke? Should we pay Zeke, who by the way, got injured. Injured foot. Should we pay him? Should we pay this? Y'all arguing amongst yourselves and it's delicious. We love it. Boys for Life hates it. Boys for Life hates it. He's telling everybody to calm down. Calm down. It's too late, you redneck. Douchebag for life can tell all of you to calm down, relax. It's just negotiation. Hey, boys for life, instead of driving in your mama's car and talking to your imaginary girlfriend, how about you look at your fan base going to war against each other? How about that? How about you get out your mama's car, boys for life. Stop talking to your imaginary girlfriend. And see what's going on in front of your fan base because they're going to war against each other. Meanwhile, here in Lord Brunson, back at you with back at you. The best reporting on the Eagles. Desert Eagle 90, Bird Game Sports, 
Philly 500. Champ Bird. He like in the fourth on tailgate crew. Gail, Evan, Trox, Prime, Mike, and your boy, Miss Mez, Cool Cat Connor of the YouTube representing the bird. We're loving every single moment of it. We're loving it because this war, these injuries, these negotiations will linger to the, to the regular season. And you're gonna fall. And you're gonna fail. We told you guys what was gonna happen and you didn't wanna believe us. Y'all didn't wanna believe Eagle fans when we told y'all that this was gonna be the last time you guys be relevant. You was gonna be in the basement with the New York Giants and the Deadskins. We told you, but you laughed at us. You talked about the male cheerleader. You talking about my quarterback getting 32 mil. Hey, boys were like, when you gonna pay your QB? You talked about Jordan Howard and Miles Sanders and J.J. Arcega Whiteside and Deshaun Jackson. You talked about how Nick Foles left. How Carson Wentz is injury prone. Well, like I said, he who laughs last, laugh loudest. Lord Brunson, Desert Eagle 90, Philly 500, Burger Sports, Champ Bird, Iraq, Gale, Evan, Trox, Hot Prime. And your boy, Missy Miss Cool Cat Connor up to you to represent the... We're laughing. Because we know what's going to happen for us. 13 and 3, 14 and 2, boys for life. Get out your mama's car and give me my 100 bucks when we become 15 and 1. Number 1 set of first round by two home field games at the link. Miami, Patriots, Chiefs, Chargers, Colts. Two-time reigning, defending, undisputed NFL Super Bowl champs of the goddamn world. You guys, six and ten, three and thirteen, eight and eight, seven and nine, nine and seven, because of injuries, because of negotiation contracts. Suspensions. Y'all can't stay off the wind. Like I said in my video earlier this week. This past Monday, the Philadelphia Eagles officially wins by forfeit the NFC East. We won. And it's all thanks to you, Cowboy fans, to Boys for Life, to Jara Johnson, to Old Cass. JJ Thriller, Jarrod Johnson, Cowboys Lesson for Life, Cowboys Longcorn, and all you disgusting, nosy, and get on my damn nerve Cowboy fans. You're the reason why the Philadelphia Eagles officially wins the NFC East by forfeit. Because when you guys go on to the season, you're going to lose all your little games because you won't be focusing on the teams that you got to face. You'll be focusing on contracts. You'll be focusing on injuries. You'll be focusing on Dak Zeke Coop. You'll be focusing on suspensions. You'll be focusing on players that can't stay off the win. Duh. You won't be focusing 
on any of your opponents. You'll be focusing on each other. And don't be playing with dildos when you do. I would like to thank the Cowboys fans for making this easy for the Eagles and their fans. Y'all making it easy for us. Like Mark Holmes says, there's a storm viewing between Cowboy fans and they're fighting against each other because they don't know what's going on in their organization. Coop got injured. Zeke's in Mexico. Dak won $40 million. Players can't stay off the weed. Players getting suspended. Players getting injured. Jerry Jones is acting like a fool. Y'all making it easy for us. So I'm glad I'll be wearing this shirt probably all week. Because y'all suck. Y'all an accident waiting to happen. This is the end. Once this season is over, the Cowboy fans are going down in the basement with the New York Giants and the Washington Redskins and the Philadelphia Eagles will be like the Patriots and the AFC East. Winning the division multiple times. Going to the playoffs multiple times. Going to multiple Super Bowls. And becoming multiple. Reigning, defending, undisputed NFL Super Bowl champions of the goddamn mother trucker world. And it's all thanks to you, Cowboy fans. You did this. Zeke wants his money. Dak wants his money. Coop wants his money. You should have. Cap Tony Romo. You should have kept Tony Romo when you had the chance. It would have made it a lot more easier for us. You should have kept Romo. You should have let that be a backup. But no! You kept pumping up Dak. Now look at what you did. You did this. You should have kept Romo, and you did. Now look at what you did. You did this, Cowboy fans. You did this. You started this war. Now you got to deal with it. You made this mess, Cowboy fans. Now y'all got to clean it up. Now y'all fighting against each other because y'all don't know what the organization is going to do. And that's your fault. Yes, Mark Holmes, a war is coming. A storm spewing in Jerry World. And Eagles Nation, we love it. So keep fighting each other. Eagles Nation going to fo be focusing on Super Bowls. And boys for life, stay, get out your mama's car. Stop talking to your imaginary girlfriend and stop telling your people to calm down. Calm down. Let them keep fighting each other. You started this, boys for life. You started this. It's the light. You started this, boys for life. Now you gotta fix it. You started this, boys for life. You started this, Jar Justin. Cowboys Lives for Life, you started this. Cowboys Long Gone, you started this. Cowboy fans, you started this. In the 2016 draft, when you drafted Dak Prescott and Tony Romo got injured, you should have kept drafted. This y'all fault. Y'all just gotta clean it up. I'm done. I'm gonna celebrate some more. That's all for today. Play my song. A mediocre team and big D. <laughs> that what makes this funny. How about them cowboys? <laughs> Yo, boys, some way, somehow, when it counts, they will let you down. Face it, boys for life. Face it, boys for life. You're an accident waiting to happen. It will happen. Interception of sis.
Deal with it, boys for life. Get out your mama's car and start talking to your imaginary girlfriend. Because y'all when something will go wrong. Listen, boys for life, you better recognize there's a black cat running around your franchise. Accident waiting to happen, it will happen. How about them cowboys? Ain't this what they've been waiting for? You ready? <laughs>